Dr. Matt Geller here. I'm here with Dr. Jessalyn Quint, practice owner at Smart Eye Care in Maine. In addition to being a practice owner, you've also got your personal brand to think of and someone who wants to be as successful as, as you seem to show and have ambition for, having a great personal brand is really important. So what does personal brand mean to you and how are you working to build yours? Yeah, I, you know, personal branding, my idea of it has really evolved in the last couple of years. I think before, even when I was going through school, of course, like social media was definitely a thing, but I was, uh, you know, you're always in the mindset of almost keeping everything like really private, keeping it very professional versus your yeah. personal life and creating those, you know, definite boundaries. But as I've, you know, been a practice owner, I mean, I definitely, there's the brand for the practice, but I've, like any business leader, you know, you think about what your exit strategy will be someday. Yes. And so I think thinking about, well, you know, am I going to be my practice of smart eye care or someday do I want to be Dr. Jessalyn Quint, who's also at smart eye care. And so that really made me kind of think twice about like what a personal brand means. And I've, you know, I've talked about this with a lot of my peers. And I think a lot of times when people think of personal branding, you're thinking of like the social media influencers, right? The people that are making um, different social media videos are yep. very active online. And that's definitely one aspect of it. But you can do kind of a different variation of that. You know, personal branding doesn't necessarily mean that you're an active influencer and maybe that's not the goal, but it's important to still brand yourself because if you're gonna be a speaker, if you're going to maybe, you know, be in academia on the side or someday, you know, involved into consulting or grow your practice to a, to a bigger scale, you know, you have to have you, your brand as a dog, whatever that looks like. Any other tips to add uh, for personal branding? Yeah, I think just get clear on what you want your personal brand to look like. That's going to be different for everyone. Uh, doing And there's a lot of different resources on there, um, out there about that. So sure. figuring out what you want that to look like. And maybe it evolves too. You know, you're going to grow and change as a person. So, you know, your brand is going to evolve and change with you. Um, but then, you know, constantly going back and make sure that your moves that you're doing, you know, your business moves are kind of aligned with your personal brand. Well, I really appreciate you speaking on it. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Yeah.